guys it is your girl Denisha and I am back with another ugh, another video and I just want to say hi to all of you I hope everyone is doing well I appreciate the people who my new subscribers I appreciate the people who have still been watching my videos and looking at them that like totally means a lot I know it has been two like two months two or three months since I've posted something and I'm not even going to a spiel of I'm gonna do better because it's a giving we all need to do better. We all need to do better in some way, shape, form, or fashion. But I'm here. I'm here. And you're here. You are here. You've probably been here. You've probably been watching my stuff. You've probably been, you know, maybe following me on social media. I know I've gotten a lot of likes, um, a lot of people randomly following me, which I love. And thank you for that. Honestly, thank you for that. But here I am, guys. Here I am. And I just want to talk. And promise and try and get my life together because it has been pretty crazy and that is why i have not been here in the past two three months so if you are interested in knowing of where i've been what i've been up to please stick around for this video please guys do not give up on me do not give up on me because i'm here for you i promise 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 that i'm here for you and i want you all to enjoy my content i want y'all to see me more but y'all gotta bear with me but i promise change gonna come y'all change gonna come so stick around <laughs> Where have I been? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Psych now. Where in the world is Denisha? I'm here. I'm alive and well, which is a blessing. That's amazing. It's always good news, right? So I'm gonna talk first about my hair. Because a lot of people love my hair. As you can see, it's long. My my curls are dropping. It was curly. About I think I did it for Valentine's Day, I wanna say. But um now they are dropping. They look sad and hmm. I'm saying they really need to get washed my roots like yeah it's stuff coming out of it like yeah I'm my hair scalp dry so yeah we'll talk about my hair first so first things first guys since the last time that I seen you your girl had a lot of anniversary okay and I've had my hair for six years now. My lock anniversary is February 1st of every year. As you may, a lot of you may know if you've seen my, you know, older videos, that is my lock anniversary and it is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day for me. Um, let me turn around so y'all can see the back kind of, but it's like, you know, kind of down a lot like i said you can't really tell because it is my curls have fallen but i do plan on washing it soon so i'll probably record that because i think i want to crinkle it so i'm probably going to you know do my little plaits and whatnot but this is amazing this is the biggest commitment i have ever made in my life longer than any relationship i've had longer than any job i've had <laughs> longer than anything the other longest thing is me living like it's crazy. I mean, I've had my dog longer. My dog's, or yeah, one of them longer. He's 10. But this is a really, really huge deal for me. Like, it's so exciting. Like, all day I walked around like, hey, guys, it's my lock anniversary. I've had my locks for six years. Like, showing people pictures. Um, Like I said, if you follow me on social media, you'll probably would have seen some of that things. Or if not, go ahead and follow me so you can see some of those things. Because that is my extension of my channel. But, yes, your girl had her six-year lock anniversary. And every year never fails every year i tell myself all right yes yeah, my lock anniversary i think i'm gonna go to the salon and get my hair done didn't happen again because i don't know i just don't feel comfortable with everyone having their hands in my hair so i took it upon myself and i did it myself like i always do i really don't like sitting underneath the dryer so i really don't like that aspect as well so what i did go and do because i um did not have a blow dryer at the time because we'll talk about that in a minute so i did go uh, purchase me one if you don't know purple is my favorite color and this is the hot shot tools uh hot shot tools is what it is um blow dryer it is like a matte finish so it's not like really slippery which i really really love i don't use the attachable heads that come with it because i really don't need them um i noticed when i did use like the muffled one it really wasn't drying my hair like all the air was being 
put into this small little vent and I didn't like that and it really just wasn't being effective but that's my new hair dryer I really love it um as you all know I don't really put that much artificial heat on my hair but it is winter time so I'm really not trying to catch pee pneumonia um <laughs> So I really just, you know, want to make sure that I'm trying to get it as dry as I can as I let it air dry through the night, whether that be, you know, me just laying it and wrapping it in my, um, those like moisture resistant like towels or whatever, you all know. So yeah, that's what has happened with my hair. So that's great. <laughs> all right. So other thing that has happened with me, as you all know, I am a teacher. This is my first year teaching. Your girl, y'all have been killing it. I have been killing it at my school. My principal loves me. My assistant principal loves me. All of my colleagues love me. My students love me, which is so important. I work in a area that is not very fortunate. So I do have some very trying students, some students who have like 504s and um, what's the other thing? 504s and i can't think of the other thing right now it's, it's a weekend and we had a three-day weekend because they called for snow on friday okay so i really can't think of the other thing the 504s and i'm really drawing a blank oh my gosh i'm such a horrible person the 504s and ieps thank you there it goes ieps so a lot of them i do have a lot of behavior issues in my class or in the school as a whole especially sixth grade kids have hormones one minute they your friend, one minute they not your friend. They going through the learning about their sexuality. They are transforming into women and young men. So it is a very trying time for the students that I teach. And it is also so much fun to actually see them grow into the wonderful and amazing human beings that I know that they are destined to be in life. And it's crazy. They will give me fits in class and then the next day they're like, hey, my favorite teacher. Hey. And I'm just like, you was just being mean to me yesterday. Like, leave me alone. Hey! So, it's really, it's really cool, though. I'm learning a lot. I don't know if I told you all. I'm now the content lead for English. This means I run the sixth grade English meetings. Anything, I go to, like, these lead meetings with the principal directly, with the rest of the leads of... You know, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, I meet with the reading specialist, the writing specialist, and we all meet and we talk about those things and then we take those things and tell our content people, so the other 6th grade English teachers, I come back and relay the message onto them. Pretty big deal, guys. Pretty big freaking deal. And my mind has been blown since they gave me this position. I'm just like, <laughs> y'all want me to do what? <laughs> I gotta do what? <laughs> It's crazy, but the person that I am, you ain't never gonna see me sweat. You know, I've always been the lead, the captain of the basketball teams and all kinds of stuff, so I know how to lead. But it is new because adults don't like to listen. They like to do their own thing, and it is what it is. But I come in prepared, ready to give what I learned or what I've gained on to my colleagues and so that we can be the best that we can be and so that these students can succeed because that is the number one root goal of all this shenanigans, right? So, yeah, I do that. I also, not rolling my eyes in a bad way, but just on how busy I have been. I'm also the co-coordinator of freaking the NJHS. So that is the National Juniors Honor Society. So these students are like the top elite students in the whole nation with academics, volunteer work, you know, everything these kids are amazing and they're in the eighth grade so it's honestly cool that I am a part of this organization simply because I get to see these individuals for what my babies are right now to where they could be eventually one day if they just you just love them because they need it they need it they need it they need it but it's so amazing to see the different spectrum of it all so that's pretty cool and I'm enjoying it. Um, I've just kind of got voluntold for this position. So I really am just kind of rolling with the flow with it. But I'm super excited for what's to come for the rest of the school year. And then also what's to come when we induct rising well, seventh grade students that are rising eighth grade students to be in the National, National Juniors Honor Society. So I think that's like so cool. I'm learning a great deal about it because I've always heard about it and got the letter in the mail myself when I was in school. But I don't know I just I I was into school but that wasn't something that I knew about and I I mean looking back on it I might maybe should have asked questions about it because that's a big big deal like that is a national 
honor society like that's just so crazy i cannot believe i passed up on the opportunity as a younging but what i do do now though now that i am in that i do let my sixth grade students know that that's a shut thing because they do see these students like walking around not in class and they're like you know what are they doing outside of class i'm like well those students are a part of the national junior honor society do you know what that means they're like no i'm like well and i'm able to teach them like hey guys like this is something that you can do you can be here in the future the next you know years or so so that's like been amazing i've been reading a lot i haven't really traveled anywhere i am in the process of moving out and <laughs> that's going pretty well um i'm not i'm kind of weighing between if i want to buy an apartment or if i want to purchase a house i did already move out i moved out with a significant other but it might have been a little rushed it might have been not a great time for all that so but that's cool that's perfectly fine i'm regrouping i'm it set in my career and i'm excited about what the future holds i haven't been in a headspace to record but now i'm ready i'm ready and i hope that y'all are ready because like i'm really about to go bananas with this and i want you all to be here for my hair i want you all to be here for my teaching i want you all to be front row center for all of this okay so i keep looking over here because i just posted something on instagram and now people are going crazy so it's kind of cool i haven't posted in like a while on there either so they're really going cray cray too so if you are with it please go ahead and like comment and subscribe ask me anything hair related school related i'm here to help because when i tell you i feel like i'm so seasoned in the game of like hair of locks and also in the game of teachings just and within these last few months since september i've learned so much like, people come to me and ask me things, and I'm like, I ain't no veteran. I don't know this, but I do know it. So I'm, like, so mind-blown with so much that I have learned in such short time and how I have grown as a teacher in such a short period of time and how much growth and just what's to come like you know so that's just so amazing to me and I really want you all to be there for me with this journey me moving out my hair and my teaching and I promise you promise you promise you I am going to keep you all right front and center on this journey here that I'm still going through so bear with me for not being here i apologize i promise 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 i'm gonna do better and i'm so glad that y'all are here and i'm so happy that you have not given up on your girl and you have followed me still subscribing still following me and i appreciate that but please stick around because i have some content for y'all y'all just don't know it yet but i have some content okay and yeah that's all i have right now but i will see you all next time in my next video y'all have an amazing day and i will see you later bye Ha, ha, ha.